Hello, uh, my name is David O'Donoghue and I'd like to share with you a presentation uh, about the Education uh, Welfare Act of 2000, uh, which is uh, Irish legislation ensuring that all students uh, receive education until the age of 16. Uh, now there are some problems with this legislation and um, it doesn't always quite achieve that objective as we've come to. Um, but I'll share with you the information um, regarding this legislation and we'll um, hopefully give you an insight into how it works. Um, so, uh, without further ado, okay, I'm going to um, discuss this further. Okay, so... The Education Welfare Act of 2000, as I said, and as I said, my name is David O'Donoghue. So we're going to be talking about this piece of legislation in terms of, um, you know, what it means for young learners in terms of their obligation to remain in the school system. So, uh, what does the law actually in, in, entail? Well, the minimum school leaving age is 16 years or until students have completed three years of second level education, whichever is the later. Uh, by second level, I mean post-primary. Um, schools are obliged to keep a record of student attendance. Um, the principal shall inform in writing the educational welfare officer should the student be missing for 20 or more days of the school year. Should the student be suspended for six days or more, or if in the opinion of the principal, the student is not attending school regularly. If in the opinion of the school, the child should be expelled from school, they must notify the Education Welfare Board in writing of its decision and reasons um, for um, wishing to expel the child. Uh, historical perspective of the law. So why was it introduced? Well, it was introduced to address the high dropout rate amongst young learners. Um, because there was a need to ensure that students were not left behind by ensuring proper attendance record keeping in schools uh, and by advancing the role played by the educational welfare officer in working with schools to take all reasonable measures to try to guarantee prolonged participation for all students in the education system. Uh, current perspectives of the law. Um, so, you know, what does it mean today? Does it mean much the same? Has it evolved? Well, not really. Uh, the law is still enshrined in Irish law with much the same objective uh, to guarantee as much um, possible as much as possible uh, engagement with the education system until the age of 16 or until three years of post primary education have been completed, whichever is later. Uh, there are some uh, limitations to the law, some things that maybe should be looked at and addressed. Um, so despite being told that they should not send their children to school if they displayed COVID symptoms, um, schools did reopen for some months during the pandemic. Now they're closed once again. But during that time where schools were open and um, you know COVID was still very much real, uh, schools are, uh, were still obligated to advise the educational welfare officer in the event that the child missed 20 days or more of schooling. Uh, so in some cases, this caused undue stress to parents if, you know, students missed um, a large number of days due to um, these unforeseen circumstances. Uh, the travelling community uh, still suffer from a much larger dropout rate than the settled community. Uh, many students drop out once they reach 16 years or have completed three years of post-primary education. Uh, and that means that the minimal education that they would have received to that point would not truly serve them later in life. So the question is, um, you know, at 16 years of age uh, and without what, what is known as a leaving cert, um, you know, are you, can you truly say that, you know, you've received a complete education and, you know, how does this legislation go about addressing this? Um, so some of the effects of the law that we've already touched on when we talked about the limitations, when we talked about, uh, you know, why it was introduced in the first place. Uh, so students at risk of abandoning their education earlier are identified much sooner than, than they were previously due to more stringent record-keeping policies. Uh, and Section 29 
of the law instructs the Education Welfare Board to set up a register of young persons. Uh, these are people who have reached 16 years of age but haven't yet reached 18 years, so basically uh, 16 and 17 year olds, um, to gain employ um, um, so, so I, I should clarify that these uh, this applies uh, here. I'm talking about people who've dropped out of school. This doesn't apply for those who've um, who continue education until the age of 18. Um, but in these in this case, that to gain employment, a young person must be registered with the board, uh, the Education Welfare Board, which will prepare an individual plan so that he she may avail of educational and training opportunities. Okay, um, so thank you for your attention. Uh, I'd like to just share with you uh, the, the references that I've used in this presentation, and they are as follows. Education Act 2000, Teaching Your Child at Home, both web, from websites, and um, Pink Floyd, uh, another brick in the wall, which seemed like an amped um, tune for this video. Thank you very much. Bye now.